Hello friends, welcome back to the another video tutorial from TI lectures. In this video lecture, we will be discussing about drug abuse and its effects on the mental health. So if we see that what is drug? Drugs are normally used as medicine to treat, to cure, uh, to prevent or to diagnose a disease or to promote well-being. But if drugs are taken for a purpose other than the normal use, other than the non-prescribed use, other than the normal clinical use that affects individuals physiological function, that affects individuals physical function or psychological function, then it's called as drug abuse. The most important thing to remember that's called as drug abuse. So what's drug abuse? Drug abuse means that when drugs are taken for a purpose other than their normal clinical use, that's called as drug abuse or the another name, drug addiction. That's called as drug addiction. Got my point? So if we see that in simple words, we can say the phys physiological and psychological dependence on drugs which is beyond one's voluntary control that's called as drug addiction what's drug addiction drug addiction means that the physiological and psychological dependence on a substance or a drug which is beyond one's voluntary control that's called as drug addiction so this drug addiction or drug use it can have wide range of short-term effects and long-term effects as well right if we talk of short-term effects short-term effects include uh, like the change in the appetite uh, like change in the heart rate uh, change in the blood pressure etc and if we talk of long-term effects long-term effects may include certain diseases like heart disease it may include lung disease it may include the dreadful diseases like cancer it may include hiv it may include aids uh, even it may include hepatitis and the most important it may include the mental illness this is the long difference between the short-term effects and the long-term effects of drug addiction right so if we see that this drug addiction the long-term effects of drug addiction that may lead to uh, uh, this drug addiction and this drug addiction it's a kind of brain disorder right not everyone's uh, everyone who uses a drug uh, becomes a drug addict it's not like that but for some people drug use can change how certain drugs uh, interfere with the job of the brain with the performance of the brain right these brain changes interfere with how people experience normal things in their lives such as uh, uh, such as their ability to control their stress level such as their ability to, to control uh, the decision making such as their ability uh, to learn and uh, memorize the things and much more right so these these all, all changes right all changes whether we talk of the short term effects or the most important uh, like the long term effects these all changes make it uh, difficult for an individual to stop taking drugs even if that individual knows its side effects its ill effects on the mental health and even if that individual wants to quit right this is very important and one more thing that this the misuse of drugs it can have uh, dire consequences on uh, your body on human body it can have dire consequences like like it can uh, it can cause uh, severe effects on uh, cardiovascular health it can cause effect on that it can has uh, it can uh, cause serious uh, even serious damage to the respiratory tract it can have effect on our gastro GI tract hota hai, gastrointestinal tract it can affect even that even it it may cause damage to the kidney even it may cause a lot of damage to the liver uh, sometimes it may cause neurological effect and the most important it may cause mental health effect which is our today's topic of discussion that it may uh, it may lead to the mental health effects and finally sometimes it may cause death of an individual right
so now we'll see that the how drugs affect the mental health that means the effects of drugs on mental health effects effects of drugs on mental health right so first we'll see what's mental health a person's mental health refers to the condition of their uh, psychological and emotional well-being that means the person is fit psychologically and emotionally right and poor mental health uh, can have severe complications so it's very important for every individual it's very important that people should take care of their mental health right those persons uh, if we see those persons who misuse drugs on a daily basis severely impact their mental well-being uh, and impact their mental health as well the short-term effects of drugs may initially bring a somewhat like pleasurable experience or pleasurable sensation to the users but this impact is only temporary and in long term range in long term effect it can cause serious issues for their mental well-being for their mental health right the drug misuse drug misuse uh, it can lead to as we talked earlier that it can lead to the disruptions in the brain's performance it can lead to interference in the to the brain's job but causing a release of some chemicals uh, that uh, that uh, lead to uh, create a mood change in the body of an individual in the body of a person what mood changes the mood changes then lead to a sort of aggression a kind of anger a uh, kind of anxiousness uh, stress uh, anxiety uh, memory loss uh, depression and in some cases death of an individual right in if we see in uh, uh, today's society and in some uh, you know uh, today's society if we see everyone at some stage uh, has faced these signs of anxiety has faced signs of stress and depression whether it is whether it may be uh, related to the work whether it may be related to the home issues or financial worries it is something that impacts everyone's health it's something uh, something that impacts everyone and this this drug abuse what we are talking about it is the major cause for these three mental health fears for these three mental health problems i got my point so similarly we'll see that this drug misuse it can i already talked about that uh, it has the long term effects of drug addiction have has serious complications we talked some of them earlier now we'll see it has one most important associated things like the drug misuse uh, it also causes psychosis it also causes the most important thing to remember is that it also causes psychosis even it cause self harm got my point that this drug misuse also causes psychosis it also causes self harm and even there sometimes it may lead to the death of the victim right what is psychosis we say what is psychosis psychosis means that it's a kind of a uh, mental disorder in which an individual's thoughts and emotions are so altered that reality appears to be non existent you got my point there is no connection in between uh, the uh, uh, reality and there is no connection in between the reality that means in general we can say it uh, produce a dream like state a dream like state is produced with loss of contact with reality and a kind of false imagination or extreme feeling of despair or extreme feeling of euphoria is produced and even if we see that this psychosis what we are talking about this psychosis even sometimes uh, it's 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 dangerous because uh, it's something uh, that also can be related to self harming and it sometimes it may bring suicidal tendencies so by looking all these factors by looking the uh, short term effects of drug addiction and long term effects of drug addiction in the next video lecture we will be talking about the types of drugs and their subsequent effects on the mental health thank you very much
for more related lectures you can subscribe my youtube channel